Come in. Hello, Mr. Jackson. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm pretty good. Have it's a, a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. So, how's your day going, man? So far, I've been so good. Just catching up on some receipts and some numbers here. Yeah. Looking up. So, how are you today? I am wonderful. I enjoyed our conversation last week. I appreciate your call. And from what we talked about, you said you were interested in computerizing your business. Do you mind telling me a little bit more about that? Yes. Well, as you already know, I am a shoe salesman. We yes. sell shoes to customers that come in the store. And apart from that, we also do repairs. Someone mm -hmm. comes with a sole that's falling off or the back part, we repair that, stitch it up for them, and send it back. Now, the things, the times are changing, and I know the technology is becoming more modern. Absolutely. And, you know, I've been running this business for quite a few years now, and I've never had to had the use or the need for that, but I'm seeing myself every day more and more that I need things like this. Just, this is right here, just the receipts, for example. I have receipts. All my receipts are handwritten. Mm -hmm. I have to write them by hand, and I'm sure that somehow with a computer, or somehow it's better to keep track of that. So like that, and also sometimes many are, of our customers come in the store, and they want a shoe that we don't have right now, so we have to order it. And again, whenever a customer wants the latest shoe or something that we don't have in the store, immediately I have to, you know, write up an order and you know send it by by mail or FedEx, expedite shipping. So, you know, I want something to maybe more modern that can help me do everything faster, run my business more efficiently. I get you. So, from what I took notes of, it says like I am under the impression that you want to get more efficient with your business because you want to get computerized receipts and you want to keep track of your customers and your inventory better. Is that correct? Exactly. All right. Well, the iMac, which is the computer that I'm trying to recommend to you, would be perfect for you. Actually, I brought some brochures so we could take a look at this. So one of the things that the iMac can do for you um, there's a program called Numbers. So pretty much what this allows you to do, you can save all of your receipts on Numbers. So instead of having it handwritten and stored in a cabinet or something like that where it's, where something could happen, say there's a flood or like someone breaks into it and steals it, like that is not secure. So you can save it on your computer on Numbers where it can be backed up and it's secure, it's safe, and it saves time and it's more professional and it's easier to understand and read. In addition to that, with numbers, um, you can create and use financial ratios. So what this means is that you can better, for example, you can better evaluate which shoes are selling the most or who are your most popular customers, like who come in the most and who spend the most money. So that is a very useful advantage to have, definitely. definitely. And also you, you can keep track of your inventory. So you can know which shoe you need to order, when you need to order it, and how much you need to order it. Mm -hmm. So this assures you that you don't have extra shoes just laying around and you're wasting money. So numbers is a very useful asset to have to make sure that you become even more profitable, because I'm sure you are making profits as is, right? So, and you just want to keep on going up. So yeah, but also one important thing about numbers, as you mentioned, is loyal customers. So if you, for example, you can find out who has been with you for the longest amount of years. So say you discover a customer who's been with you for four years. Now that's a pretty long time. So he's been, he's been coming like every single year to get his shoes fixed and buying shoes. So what you can do is that you could probably create a thank you letter or something with this valuable information. And also, to create a thank you letter, there's a program called Pages. Now what Pages allows you to do is create documents and letters in a professional, for, in a professional format. So for example, with that very loyal customer, you can go into Pages, create a very professional thank you letter saying, hey, I appreciate your service, I appreciate your loyalty, and just send him you know, a, th a thank you letter. You'd be very appreciative of it. Definitely, they can bring more customers back later on if they exactly. see that I'm taking care of them. And all of this in the same program. Same, the same program. program. In the same computer. Yes. Well, but one thing that I'm not, you know, I don't know much about computers. I'm just shoe salesman. I don't know much about technology. There's a lot of stuff that this computer can do. And it can keep track of all the receipts and all the orders and transactions. Now, I have quite a few customers that come in. That's a lot of information. Yeah. Now, can the computer 
hold all this information and still run fast? Does it have enough? Does it have the memory to do all of this? That's and a very be? interesting question. All right, and that's very important as well because a computer needs memory to operate and to store files and whatnot. So the average amount of RAM memory on a computer is two to six gigabytes. So two to six. But the iMac has 16. 16? Yes. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. So the good thing about that is that you are thinking of expanding, right? Because I'm sure yes. you would want to gain more customers and gain more shoes and whatnot, right? Definitely. So the Sometimes. good thing about having 16 gigabytes of RAM memory is that is that when you are expanding, you don't need to worry about getting a new computer or even getting a new memory card because the iMac provides all that memory for you. Isn't that wonderful? No, that's incredible. If they could do all of that and still be exactly. top of the line. And also, with all that memory, it just means your, your computer will be operating at faster speeds because it doesn't have to go look for extra space, extra memory to, like, Pro, like process stuff, and also when when you open up programs, when you open up files, it moves like that because you have so much memory, so yeah. it saves time. And yeah. Now, another worry that I have is that I don't know. Again, I all of a you, I don't know much about computers, and the computers that I have worked with have been Windows. Windows. Now I know that Macs are relatively new, the new thing, but is it very difficult to learn? Am I going to have to call someone and be on the phone for an hour with, for customer service to be able to just ha see how I can do something? I, I don't want to have to be bothering other people to just yeah. work the computer. Well, absolutely not. M the Mac is very easy to learn and to use. And I guarantee you, e even if you don't know how to use it, someone will be able to help you. First of all, on the Apple website, there are tutorial videos on how to, s how to start up Mac, how to use all of the programs, and how to even add more programs. So in addition to that, there's a genius bar at every Apple retail store where they will be able to assist you in person free of charge. So whatever problem you have, they will be able to assist you free of charge. And also, we have a mouse. It's called the Magic Mouse. And it makes scrolling and clicking even easier. So it just has the many benefits of the iMac. Wow, that, that just, I can definitely see this in, in my business and just, just benefits that I can see from this, faster times, when in the end, the long run, more profits in that. Now, I really enjoyed this. However, I have to get to a meeting soon. But Understandable. Definitely, I can see this having this in the future here for me, the company. So, I'll tell you what, I'll talk it over with so the rest of my team. Meet again. And exactly. So, I'll give you a call on Monday. It's around 5 o'clock. Sounds good. Talk it over. All right. Thank you.